chapter moja has finished. Ah. Oh. The man from northern Uganda tayari amemaliza. Kazi imefanywa. Kazi imefanya nini? Imefanywa. Tunawashukuru commanders ambao walikuwa katika kipengele hiki. Ah, that senior five point. I don't know whether he will not escape. Amemaliza. Hiyo hiyo. Hiyo hiyo. That is my boy. Ah, I am also from Tokolo. Ah, he is from from Yes. That cowboy from Kasese has also finished. Munaona sasa yes. tunatokea. Sijui alitoroka wapi huyu lazima. Ah. Tunamjua. Naye amemaliza. Na huyu mstana, mstana wa senior five. A daughter to our teacher, Saja Mukuru Kasike. Ah, naye amemaliza. Asante sana. the efforts of the teachers of the head teacher, Lieutenant Okuru, and uh, the efforts of the area coordinator, regional coordinator, patriotism. When you see them clad, clad in the green uniform, those are efforts of the patriotism. That is uniform of patriotism enough, but very soon, the the all of them clad in that uniform. Last and last the last area coordinator, and the efforts of the teacher. You can see the soldiers' commanders tomorrow. Thank you, please, the young one. Everybody, everybody appreciates you, Mr. Amanda Vision. For your part, seven, launch the new strategic national program to inculcate norms and values of patriotism in institutions. And uh, subsequently, patriotism clubs were established in secondary schools all over the country. The launching of the patriotism clubs in secondary schools was intended to nurture the new generation of Ugandans with the new positive attitudes to their country and to themselves and to work. The program aims at encouraging students and teachers to become new breed of enlightened citizens. Committed commitment to national service among the objectives. 
the president directed teachers to train the students to observe six points in order to secure their lives as individuals. And these ones included uh, to concentrate on their studies so that they lead them they lead them to academic excellence and acquiring a professional professional academic and a, a maggot a caterpillar came into the flower and the seed did not grow we are not the uganda we are not the people who are supposed to be that's why the, the, the LC1 was talking about an army that was terrorizing the people, that was murdering the people instead of protecting them. The army is supposed to protect the people, but the army terrorized and killed the people. It means our history, our ideology was distorted. That you want these children to be the leaders of tomorrow of quality. This country has had issues to do with the patriotism and I think that's why the Commander-in-Chief decided that we should do, put more effort into inculcating patriotism into the young children because when we have a young generation of quality it means we have a country which is going to be very good for everybody of us a country which is going to be emulated by other countries because of what we do because of what we want to do and because we want to be in a better place in terms of discipline and academics we have moved so far we emphasize guide and counseling as a pillar of mentoring a citizen of tomorrow. We don't only handle academics, but we prepare an all-round citizen. There is no stone within the basic of education that we live and have in Imbarara Army Boarding Secondary School. I'm proud of my staff, I'm proud of my students, and I'm proud of this division and the country at large. We are imploring on you, love yourself. Go for the deal of human development called good living and a long life. If you look for yourself well, you are expected of living longer. But after you living longer, come look about the other human being in your ecology. Help them to live a long life. All these are pillars of patriotism but I'm explaining them at the world-class world, world class level so that we understand them because we have to encounter them every day. So lastly, I wish to thank everyone for listening to me. My words can be... Please, everywhere you go, ensure that you are part of the humanity, the spirit of Ubuntuism. Please, just everybody listening on behalf of the fathers, also take the message that it's our responsibility. What defines us as civilized men and women is only one thing, the discipline of observing the universal human rights, the Magna Carta. You can always read it. Every time you read it, it will be new like a Bible. So let us all work together to build a good world. Finally, allow me to take the opportunity to pass out the 568 trainees, tra graduates who have graduated with the partnership training from Marara, from Marara Army Boarding School. I congratulate you and go in peace.